What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17.5 beta 4 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple also released the fourth beta for iPadOS 17.5, watchOS 10.5, macOS Sonoma 14.5, tvOS 17.5, visionOS 1.2, along with the fourth RC version of macOS 13.6.7 and macOS 12.7.5. But of course, we are mainly talking about iOS 17.5 beta 4 in this video. So you can see here, the size came in at around 530 megabytes on my 15 Pro Max. So still a relatively large size for being a fourth beta but let's go ahead and check out the build number for this update so if we head into our settings general about the new build is 21f5073b so we're now on a b we went from an f in beta 3 to a b at the end of the build number here in beta 4 which means that we are likely to see the rc next week now if we go back and check out the modem firmware that remains at 1.60.02 so in beta 3 that was the first time we saw a modem firmware update throughout the ios 17.5 beta stages and it looks like it's going to remain the same here for the fourth beta all right so now what's new here in ios 17.5 beta 4 and the first thing is that the wallpaper bug has been fixed so according to apple's release notes there's a fix for this bug add new wallpaper sheet does not load any content content after restoring device. So a very minor bug that most of you probably didn't have, but that has been fixed with this update. And also those who have had the wallpaper dimming bug also say that it's fixed when you go from the lock screen to the home screen. I've never had that myself, but apparently that has been fixed in this beta as well. Now, one thing that I was very curious to see if we would see any type of adjustment or fix here in this fourth beta has to do with the attention aware features. So if you're not aware, there is a new alarm clock bug that's been going around I personally don't think it's new I think this is the same alarm clock bug that we've been hearing about for years but this has started gaining popularity on TikTok and it was picked up by the Today Show and you know Joanna Stern from the Wall Street Journal chimed in on this issue as well and basically what it seems like it's related to is if you go into your face ID and passcode settings and then go down here to the attention aware features they are now encouraging people to turn this off if you're having an issue with your alarm not going off and you can see here if you read closely it says that lowering the volume of some alerts is a byproduct of enabling this feature so it's going to check for attention so like if you're looking at your phone you know it's going to lower the volume of some alerts so the theory was that some people's you know iphone was maybe facing them as they slept and that's what would lead to uh you know the attention aware feature kicking in and it would lower the volume or sometimes just not make the alarm go off at all so it does not look like Apple has addressed that here in this beta which is not too surprising I would expect some type of fix for that though very soon there's also a bug that I just had happen to me over the weekend on iOS 17.5 beta 3 and I tested it here on beta 4 and it is still there so that has to do with airdrop or name dropping a contact so anytime I go to share a contact via airdrop or name drop like when I hold my phone up to somebody else's phone it just fails every time it's like it doesn't even try so I've tried that on my phones and I tried that with friends phones who are you know logged into different Apple IDs and for some reason it just fails here in 17.5 so I hope to see that addressed in the RC or the final release also if we head into the settings and go down to the news section I already talked about the news plus puzzles toggle here to turn on or off the game center but also if you go into news plus offline mode and go to download options there is now a toggle for puzzles in there as well that's not new here in this beta but it's just something I did not cover ever since these puzzles came out in Apple News and if you go into the core tiles game here and then scroll down to the archive it now shows how you did on that specific puzzle right down there in the bottom in blue so that would show up before on previous betas but it would just take a long time to load so now it appears to load right away once you complete or you're in the progress of completing one of these puzzles also if you add this detailed weather widget you can see that the font is smaller than it was on previous versions of iOS so I have iOS 17.4 here on the left and you can see that the font size is smaller especially when you see the temperature with the degrees right there it's a good bit smaller as is everything over on 
the side as well. And you can see we do have a discrepancy in the weather forecast as well, not just the current temperature, but also the low and the high, which is pretty interesting. If we head over to the newsroom section of Apple's website, you can see that we now have a countdown here for the May 2024 keynote. So it's in six days and 19 hours as of the time of recording. And what's interesting here is that Apple is touting this let loose event on May 7th as a different kind of Apple event. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how it's any different from their previous events. Also, the iMovie application for iOS just got its first update in seven months. So you can see seven months ago, we got 3.0.2. And just today, we got version 3.0.2. Point three. So nothing major has been changed, but I just found that pretty interesting. Also, I just wanted to give an update on the Apple Music bug that a lot of people had before. So this was a bug where Apple Music, the download over cellular option would just not work. You would not be able to download any music over cellular. And that has been fixed with beta three. And I'm assuming it's going to be fixed here as well in beta four. So I noticed that it had been fixed in beta three, but a lot of you guys commented and you know confirmed that it has indeed been fixed, which is great news. And then also for the files application that appears to be fixed here in 17.5 as well, even when annotating a big PDF. So some people claimed that it would refresh automatically and remove all your annotations that you did, but that appears to be fixed here in 17.5. 17.5, which is great. And since I know you guys are going to ask, no, the stopwatch live activity has not been added here in 17.5 beta four. So when I go out, you can see there is no live activity up there in the dynamic island. So hopefully we see that in iOS 18. And then also the stutter bug with the search text in the spotlight search here is still present in beta four, as you just saw, it doesn't happen every time, but it does happen every three to four swipes, as you can see there. And if we take a look at the release notes here, you can see that pretty much everything has been resolved. So the accessibility bug has been resolved. The app tracking transparency bug has been resolved. We have that new core motion feature. We have the new eSIM feature for the eSIM universal link. We have a resolved issue for store kits. And of course we have the big resolved issue related to wallpapers. It wasn't really super big, but it was the thing that had, you know, it was still broken all the way up until this release. Well, here's a bug that just happened. So apparently I have a dimming bug here with 17.5 beta four. I've not had this at all in any of the 17.5 betas or 17.4 betas. So for some reason, my phone just randomly dimmed you can see that the brightness still shows that it's about halfway and the phone is not hot whatsoever. So it has nothing to do with the heat. So you can see here, it's very, very dim and it's not being fixed when I adjust the slider. So I guess I'll continue this video at near max brightness. But anyways, moving on to the performance, I did run a Geekbench 6 test and we scored a 2946 and a 7222 on the multi-core. And if you take a look at the results compared to my last run of beta three, it's interesting because this is the first time in a while where I've scored exactly the same score on two different versions. So take a look at the single core from April 25th. It's the exact same 2946 and then the multi-core is a little bit lower but that's probably because i just you know ran this test after installing the software and then when it comes to the battery life i would expect the battery life to remain about the same as it was in the previous beta it looks like my battery life has been staying pretty stable right there at 56 percent and that seems to be in line with what we saw with beta 3. now as far as the battery capacity if we go into my battery health right here i'm still at 100 percent battery capacity so i'm waiting for the day that goes down to 99%, even though I only have 32 cycles at the time of recording. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is very likely to be the RC release of iOS 17.5, and it's likely going to come after Apple's event on May 7th. So the event is a little bit early, so it might not come immediately after the event, but it's likely to come at the same time as these beta updates typically come out, which is around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I would expect that that's on May 7th. And then we should see the final release of iOS 17.5 the following week, most likely on Monday, May 13th. That's assuming that the iPads are going to be released on May 17th. If for some reason Apple decides to release the iPads on May 10th, we might see that update come out sooner. So it depends on what Apple does. And we're going to know all about that at the let loose event on May 7th. But I would 
expect the final release to be on May 13th. So that is iOS 17.5 beta 4, a relatively minor update, but as you guys know, I always bring you these beta updates, no matter how big or how small, just to keep you in the loop of everything going on in the world of Apple software updates. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.